The function of the brain that sleep encroaches upon most is the memory. Not that it ceases altogether, but it is reduced to a condition of imperfection such as in the primeval ages of mankind may have been normal by day and in waking. Confused and capricious as it is, it continually confuses one thing with another on the basis of the most fleeting similarities. But it was with the same confusion and capriciousness that the peoples composed their mythologies, and even today travelers observe how much the savage is inclined to forgetfulness, how his mind begins to reel and stumble after a brief exertion of the memory, and he utters lies and nonsense out of mere enervation. But in dreams we all resemble this savage. Failure to recognize correctly and erroneously supposing one thing to be the same as another is the ground of the false conclusions of which we are guilty in dreams, so that when we clearly recall a dream, we are appalled to discover so much folly in ourselves. The perfect clarity of all the images we see in dreams, which is the precondition of our unquestioning belief in their reality, again reminds us of conditions pertaining to earlier mankind, in whom hallucination was extraordinarily common, and sometimes seized hold on whole communities, whole peoples at the same time. Thus, in sleep and dreams, we repeat once again the curriculum of earlier mankind.